Hello and welcome to the Hindu. I am Priyali Prakash and you're watching Tipping Point, a weekly show where we dive into climate change events and the trends shaping our future. In this week's episode, we look at the disturbing fall in the average size of wildlife populations, Hurricane Milton in Florida, and an effort to safeguard coral reefs in Indonesia. World Wildlife Fund's 2024 Living Planet report shows a decline in every indicator used to track nature globally. This report uses the Living Planet Index, which tracks sizes of animal populations and how they are changing. It can be used as an indicator for early warning risks related to extinction of species and ecosystem losses. According to the Living Planet Index, the average size of monitored wildlife populations decreased by 73% in the last 50 years. The worst trends were noticed in freshwater populations that reduced by 85%. Latin America and the Caribbean were among the worst affected areas and climate change is the leading cause for the loss of biodiversity in these areas. The report uses the Living Planet Index to highlight that nature is disappearing at a frightening rate. The study also identifies five tipping points which will trigger devastating consequences for the Earth if they are crossed. The first one is large-scale destruction of coral reefs, which is mainly happening due to rising sea temperatures and over-exploitation of marine resources. Multiple mass chloral bleaching events have been reported in the last 30 years, and if this continues unabated, over 1 billion people who rely on coral reefs for food, livelihood and protection from storms may be threatened. Next up is melting ice sheets, especially the massive Greenland and West Antarctic ice sheets, which threaten a rise in the sea levels around the whole world that can affect coastal communities. Large-scale permafrost thaw is another tipping point that can possibly trigger the release of large amounts of carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere, which have been identified as greenhouse gases that cause global warming. When permafrost thaws, microbes within the dead plant material trapped in ice begin to break the organic matter down, releasing these gases into the atmosphere. Collapse of the subpolar gyre, which is a circular current south of Greenland in ocean circulation, can potentially change global weather patterns and specially affect Europe and North America. And then we have the Amazon rainforest tipping point. Amazon rainforests are often called the lungs of the earth. Deforestation and climate change are already causing reduced rainfall in this tropical rainforest, making it difficult for this type of forest to exist. Disrupting the Amazon rainforest will also drastically increase carbon emissions entering the atmosphere, making global warming worse and affecting global weather patterns. The southeastern US has been in the grip of relentless hurricanes, one after the other. Last week, we discussed the devastating Hurricane Helene and this week, we are back with important updates on Hurricane Milton, which was even more intense in its formation. Although Hurricane Milton made landfall on the west coast of Florida as a Category 3 storm, its sustained wind speeds reached 180 miles per hour at its strongest when it was classified as an extremely dangerous Category 5 hurricane by the US authorities. Milton was also exceptional in how rapidly it intensified, mostly due to exceptionally high sea surface temperatures recorded in the Gulf of Mexico in recent weeks, where it passed through before it hit Florida. Extreme rapid intensification is defined as an increase in the maximum sustained winds of a tropical cyclone of at least 35 miles per hour in a 24-hour period. Milton started off as a tropical depression in the southwest Gulf of Mexico, on the morning of October 5 and intensified into a hurricane in around 24 hours. Even after that, the wind speeds continued to grow. Between October 6 and 7, Milton grew an additional 95 miles per hour, which is more than the double requirement for rapid intensification. As we pointed out in our last episode, marine heat wave in the Gulf of Mexico was also responsible for making Hurricane Helene stronger and more intense. Hurricane Milton has killed around 16 people so far and left more than 3 million people without electricity. But according to local reports, the hurricane's impact has thankfully been lesser than what was predicted initially, mostly due to widespread evacuations. Even then, Hurricane Milton clocked some exceptional figures. According to the Weather Channel, 
it brought almost 19 inches of rain to St. Petersburg in Florida. The highest wind gust of 105 miles per hour was recorded in the Egmont Channel. According to the US government, Milton became the strongest hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico since Hurricane Rita in 2005, based on wind speed. It was also the fifth most intense hurricane in the Atlantic Basin based on pressure. Pressure is inversely proportional to the strength of a hurricane. This week's Climate Hope is all about safeguarding the corals in Indonesia. The Indonesian sea is home to vast stretches of coral reefs. In 2012, Coral Guardian, an NGO working in the field of protecting coral ecosystems, launched its Adopt a Coral program to conserve the reefs. The project was launched after marine biologist and Coral Guardian co-founder Martin Colionoli discovered practices harmful to the environment after a year of working in Indonesia. The organization expanded its work to Mediterranean Sea in Spain in 2020. Coral Guardian's 2023 impact report stated that almost 71,000 corals had been saved under its five coral reef restoration programs since its inception. In 2023, they reported transplanting 11,265 corals in Indonesia. That's all from this week's Tipping Point. For more videos like this, please subscribe to The Hindu.